So finally, today is that day for which I visited China. That is the Maker Faire Shenzhen 2023. So as I reached the destination, the first thing I noticed was my logo on the Maker Faire Shenzhen banners. So yes, I visited Maker Faire not only as a visitor, but being the official media partner of this event to cover this complete Maker Faire. So when I looked at logo on the Maker Faire Shenzhen banners for the very first time, I was like, wow, man, this is awesome. I can't express my feelings right now in the camera, but I felt really, really good and Thanks to you because of you people, our logo can reach two internationals like international events as, as the official media partner. So thank you so much for this particular thing. So yeah, after clicking a couple of photos uh, at the entrance, we went inside and directly went to the destination where the talks were about to begin. So as I was the media partner and I need to shoot the event, I first started setting up all my video gears like the tripod and camera and the mic in the room. So I'm prepared for the shooting. So I set up the camera here to get a view of the speaker. So it's something like this. And for the audio part, what I did here is I just installed the microphone just near to the speaker so that I can get the better audio quality. And yeah, that's how I you know, done for the, for the audio. And for the video and we are ready for the So the day one started with the talk from Eric, who is the founder of Seed Studio. Morning. Welcome. So we have been doing Make Fair for 10 years and still get very nervous. He discussed about the Maker Fair journey and well, the speech was in Chinese but we were having some kind of real-time translation on the screen which helped us to understand what he was speaking. And let me tell you, Eric is the one who brought Maker Fair to Shenzhen and also he is the founder of Chai Ho Maker Space which is a maker space in Shenzhen and also the place where this Maker Fair Shenzhen is happening. After his talk, he invited Eben who is the CEO of Raspberry Pi and they had some conversations about Raspberry Pi, their new board, their new silicon and about maker culture as well. Now here there were other talks as well but as I have aligned the interview with Eben, I need to rush to the interview spot. So I took all my shooting gears and here this girl named Serena who is the marketing manager of Seed helped me a lot in this complete two day event. So we went to the spot of the interview and I asked a couple of questions to him. Cool. And what happening to the fruit companies? They are making everything in local, in house, like Apple doing yeah. silicons and everything. Raspberry Pi doing the silicons, doing the boards. So, so one time we'll able to see the complete uh, main processor from Raspberry Pi as well, like the <laughs> silicon level processor. Now here I'll be publishing the separate video about interview with Eben on my channel. And maybe if I already published it, I'll be leaving away its link down in the description of this video. So do check that out. Now after Ebin, we were also having the interview with Eric who is the founder of Seed Studio but unfortunately uh, it was postponed to the next day and we were not able to take his interview. So after this we started exploring the Maker Fair stalls. So first we went to the stall by Seed Studio itself that were having this electric signal control based glass film. And then we were having a fortune teller machine as well in which first we need to insert two coins then add some of our details. And this machine will do some magical calculations and will show us our fortune and also can print a slip with our fortune written on it. How, how it's working? Oh, it's based on? Uh, it's, well, actually, I, I built this from, uh, using a node rack. Node rack? Yeah. Now, when you're generating the answers? I, I, it costs OpenAI API key. OpenAI, yeah. okay. And Open all, the, all the selections are actually the parameters that you put in as a, right, as a right. to complete the whole poem. Yeah. <laughs> After that, we visited Raspberry Pi stall where they were showcasing a couple of their products along with the latest Raspberry Pi 5 board. Then we interacted with a company called as Ace Board that is providing several kits for kids. Hi Lumi. 
open the color light. I close the window. Open the door. And it also got different kind of sensor like if it's rain open the window. It's like it's raining, it will just close automatically. It's some kind of like your mini smart home. And I mean I, I don't know, I have Google Home in my home and it's everything some kind of like similar but they're not using the ESP32 but this is basically for kids if they want to like you know learn how actually smart home running in the reality is I'm giving them some kind of clues how does it work now here during my visit to Maker Faire Shenzhen I found a lot of stalls for you know, STEM based educational kits and 3D printers so now let me show you what the STEM education companies and 3D printers were having at the stall After that, we landed on M5 Stack Stall, where we get to see the M5 dial about which I talked a lot in my tech update videos. And then we also had a look over M5 card computer which was truly amazing as it got a lot of tech built in. And here we can also write our own Python scripts and run in this device itself. Wonderful! Other than this, we were having a lot of things showcased by M5 Stack including some of their future projects. I know you. <laughs> and the day when I visited this much stall only because in the evening, I already registered for a workshop by Salman from Makergram regarding Tiny ML. So I attended that workshop which was about using Tiny ML on Xiaomi SP32 S3 Sense board. It was interesting and I'm thinking of to make a video about it as well. Like how we can use the Tiny ML on Xiaomi SP32 S3 Sense board. Well, that will be a really interesting topic to be covered on our channel. And with this workshop, the day one ended and we were having the party in the evening for celebrating 15th anniversary of Seed Studio. So let me show you some amazing glimpses of the party. So in the party, we were also having some robotics arm to serve cocktails and coffee to us. Then many people performed on the stage and guess what? I sang a Hindi song in front of the Chinese audience on the stage, which was the craziest thing which I ever done. The song name is Tum Hi Ho, which, yeah, which in English means you are only. You are only my life, Woo! you are only my love, you are only my pain, you are only my pleasure, you are everything for me. You hit the ego, bust the ego. I was really feeling nervous before singing on the stage and well it was not my choice to go on stage for singing well seat studio team members like Serena and Chun Chun forced me a lot and they insisted me a lot to go ahead and sing a song for all of us so <laughs> I was there on the stage I sang the song and trust me I enjoyed it a lot and also the audience enjoyed it a lot <laughs> and after I sang the song, I felt really happy and that proved that if you overcome your fear, you will be more confident. So I was more confident after singing the song. So the party lasted till 10.30 in the night and that's how the day one of Maker Face spent. A lot of learnings along with a lot of entertainment but the only thing which missed is I was not able to visit 
many stalls like there are many stalls left to be visited but no worry we still have a date too so now let's wait for tomorrow <laughs>